I don't know about y'all, but uh, this track season's been kind of quiet. And uh, I figured, you know what? I still owe y'all uh, two reactions um, for the two diss tracks that just Trey put out. So we can go ahead and finish it now because, hey, better late than never, right? But anyway, we finna get into it. But first, y'all know how we do. <sighs> Intro. Yo, it's me, your boy, JJV. What is good, Great White Gang? What is good, Cree Squad fam? It is your boy, Jason JV, saying welcome to another reaction video. And yes, yes, y'all, I'm sorry, y'all, but with everything going on, man, I mean, yeah, it's been kind of a crazy diss track season, man. We got, you know, people going at Tom McDonald. We got people going in on ACAL. We got people going in on Upchurch, you know what I'm saying? And speaking of those who are going in on Tom McDonald, uh, we still have two hog feeds that your boy never, ever, ever got a chance to do a reaction to. And that is both the third hog feast, which we'll be getting into, and the fourth hog feast, which will follow up um, after this one. So I figured, yo, let's go ahead, because I still owe y'all, you know what I mean? And my bad, y'all, for taking so long and getting these done. Uh, but like I said, man, so much going on. Your boy ha has an album that's coming out in June. I was going to announce a, um, a month in advance, which would which would have been May, that the pre-save link is in the description down below. But actually, if you actually look in my description down below, the pre-save link is there. So if you want to pre-save the album, uh, please, by all means, that would be very much appreciated. Um, I still don't know about hard copies yet. Um Trying to get a hold of someone that, uh, you know, can help your boy out and get some hard copies pressed up. Um, so, yeah, I will keep y'all posted on that. But until then, as of right now, um, no hard copies are being made as of now. But uh, hopefully that will change um, in, in the near future. Um, what else? Oh, and then, of course, you know, I've been putting up content on the gaming channel, which if you guys haven't been checking my community tab, that's where I've been. So if if uploads, I won't say community, but if uploads uh, tend to get a bit more sporadic, a bit more spaced out on this channel, please, please highly encourage y'all go check out the gaming channel. If you're a gamer, if you're into gaming, you know what I'm saying? Go check out the gaming channel, man, because me and uh, some of the homies in the community have been having a hell of a time watching uh, my WWE uh, 2K24 gameplay videos. So yeah, please, by all means, go check it out i believe i have the latest one posted in my community tab um if not the gaming channel the link for the gaming channel should be in the description down below so yeah so remember if i'm not uploading here odds are i'm uploading on the gaming channels so, you know you won't you won't miss me i'm i'm saying your boy ain't going anywhere but yeah <clears throat> so yeah anyways let's go ahead and get into the meat and potatoes of this video which y'all came to see and that is the third hog feast coming from the man just Trey, and yes, this is a Tom McDonald disc, which I cannot wait to get into. I'm sure y'all can't either, hence why you're here. So, without further ado, like the hear here. Yeah, oh, come on, screw tube. Yeah, why is that? I'm ready to work, and screw tube ain't. I'm just saying, man, bruh, let's go. Yeah, about to walk inside and get this bacon ready. Yo. Oh, what is that smell? Who the f Yo, Tom, is that- Hold up. I recognize this beat. I know I recognize that intro. I know I've heard this beat somewhere before. Hey, you over there taking a shit? What the fuck? Oh, no, dude, don't- Oh, no, don't do that, man. Man, Tom McDonald is basically pulling a, a, a Ezel from, from Friday. Who remembers that dude? Anyway. I thought I told you. Oh no, not not Ezel. He pulled a smoky. <laughs> anyway. Use the toilet paper. Don't use your own hands, bro. What the? Yo, don't wipe it on the walls, bro. What the fuck are you doing? Now I gotta clean this up, you stupid fucker. The word around the street, Tom Peace when he sits down. The word... I knew I recognized this beat. Ah, uh, it's I'm a soldier. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. I'm a soldier. 
That's um, Soldier by Eminem off of his um, Eminem show LP. Let's go. Word around the street, time peace when he sits down. The water hit his ass, cold feet like your bidet now. He's calling past the fact that he's the reason for the cookout. He's looking up a marketplace, a house for him to hide out. Knock, knock, tell Madonna better open up the fucking door. You're wasting too much time. I'm about to blow the hitches from the door. There ain't no toilet paper left to use it. I gotta stack some more. So basically, in other words, Tom is full of shit, which I will not disagree. I cannot deny that. I mean, that is facts. That's actual factuals. Fucker, use your own hand, the same hand you writing to yeah. One motherfucker actually playing your songs. You got no replay value. It doesn't stick to us long. And all you care about is turning to... That is facts. And especially when it comes to all of his political stuff, because like Church said... All of Tom's political songs is no different than the stuff that you hear on the news. It's basically stuff that you're hearing from, you know, most conservative content creators who actually be telling the facts as to what's going on, you know what I'm saying, in our political climate. Yes, we get it, Tom. And every other, you know, political rapper out there, we get it. Okay? We understand. Bruh, let's go. To the top position and better fucking listen up when underdogs are getting under your skin. Better pick up the pen, have no right it again. You have a trouble writing songs, we cycle through it again. Check out the garbage you can, light on a fire again. Piss on the grave and do it all from my pen. I'm a Ooh, he said, man, man, I'm basically, I'm basically shitting on you. I'm throwing you out like yesterday's trash. You know what I'm saying? Bruh, I'm basically destroying on you. I'm, I'm murdering you on this beat. You know what I'm saying? Lyrically, not not physically, lyrically. Um, and I'm going to piss on your grave, man. Be, meaning the grave of Tom's career. He's going to piss on that grave of Tom's career. Bruh, let's go. Shit, motherfucker, never losing when I started. So I picked a soldier beat because I've been rolling with my army. Tim and them isn't proud of you. He just glad he sold the beat to you. 100,000 for the beat and still don't have a... Alright, so here we are with the whole Tom buying Eminem's beat. It's like, yo, Eminem's not proud of you. He's just happy that he sold a hundred K beat to you. <laughs> you you were you were stupid enough to buy a beat, even though yes, it was from Eminem, so I, I get it. I do, I understand it. But still, you spent a hundred K on a beat. That's not a brag. That just goes to show how stupid and loose you are with your money. I'm just saying. Like in front of you, that couldn't be me, cause I ain't buying bots to get the viewers. Could it be me? Two hundred dollars for a hoodie, dude. What the fuck is wrong with the way? Okay, so we're calling out Tom for buying, you know, bot views. I mean, he does have bot accounts um, that do be supporting him because they're all programmed to basically say the same thing whenever you go against Tom. Even in the in, even if the slightest you you know way that you go against Tom, they still they come at you like as if you know. Like, oh, like, like as if you think Tom is the devil and everything. Now, look, I, I ain't saying, you know, Tom is, is Jesus Christ. I'm not saying the guy is a perfect saint and can walk on water because let's, let's face it. He's, he's really not. Uh, but I'm not saying he's necessarily the uh, devil either. Although there, there is questionable content as far as his lyrical abilities are concerned, as far as his, some of his tracks are concerned, and especially in some of the imagery that he be putting out, you know what I'm saying? And also, let's not um, for, what's the name of that clothing line? Is it Ben 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 Benciago? Ben Ben Benciaga? Whatever the hell that shit is called, which is a clothing line that Tom Sports that was created by a Satanist. So I mean, can't say I'm not saying he's evil, but I can't say he's an angel either. I'm just saying. Anyway. Ain't nothing that you offer, dude. I think a part of the system. The problem is within you. Back in 2018, I seen it had on the screen. Everybody hates me. You're playing ass to be seen. And don't come knock. It was the original product on the screen that I was trying to listen to. That I was catching on the thing. This motherfucker paid his way on. He's built like a crayon. The fucker being carry symbols. Everything he's been on. I think Pogo Rider likes to wrestle to the bottom. Read the script for you to understand the meaning of the dot. I never welcome in this country anymore. You just a product picking gum that's from the bottom of my boots. I give you problems. Just Trey isn't wrong, man. Ever since he put out these disses on Tom, man, he's been blowing up. I mean, especially in the community, he's very popular in the community. I don't think there's a day that goes by where at least one member of the community isn't talking on dude's name. No, I mean, 
Trey is dope, man. I see why he is the uh, talk of the town. You know what I'm saying? He is fire. He is dope, man. My man be bringing that heat. You know what I'm saying? He's got the flow down. He's got the cadence down. He's got the the uh, the uh, passion behind his words and everything. That energy, that raw, that really raw energy. You know what I'm saying? That is lacking in a lot of hip hop music. You know what I mean? Whether it's mainstream hip hop or or you know underground slash independent hip hop music. Yeah, man. Yo, I say bring more of this on, man. We need more of this, man. And we need more people calling out the fakes, the phonies, you know what I mean? And a lot of these people who be utilizing shady tactics just to get ahead. You know what I'm saying? Now, look, I'm not I'm not saying Tom necessarily should be canceled. I'm not saying, you know, we need to take, take, take money away from him, take food out of his mouth or anything like that. I'm not saying all that. But, you know, there's a right way and a wrong way to build yourself up. And the way Tom did it, I'm sorry, wh whether... I mean, regardless of, of whether you think, you know, yeah, we can't knock the hustle, even though I'm about to, yeah, I'm kind of contradicting myself. I don't know how I can say this any better, but I respect the hustle, but at the same time, you know what I'm saying? If you have to cheat to get ahead, you know what I mean? It's, it's still a bad look. And yes, if, from what I'm hearing, Tom did cheat to get ahead, you know what I'm saying? People say he worked the system and all this and that. And I guess in a sense, if you if you believe cheating the system, you know what I'm saying, that's working the system or whatever, blah, blah, blah. I guess, you know what I mean? But I mean, it is what it is at the end of the day. I mean, he is where, where he is. He's at a point where he can retire. He don't really have to do this no more. And more, more power to him. Kudos to him for all that. But dog, dog, be real with the shit. You know what I'm saying? Be real with the shit. I mean, because now people are waking up and... You're you're slowly but surely losing following. You're so, you're slowly but surely losing views and stuff like that because now people see right through you. You've been exposed, man. You've been called out by Church, who is a much bigger artist than you are, and you can't be bothered to even hear the man's name. You know what I'm saying? And who else called you out? I mean, you had you know Playboy the Beast called you out. You know what I'm saying? Who's a fire artist as well? Granted, he's you know a significantly smaller artist but still you have people who are about this game who are about that life on the mic you know what i'm saying and yeah i know that kind of sounds suggestive but that's neither here nor there you know what i mean all right get your heads out of the gutter i'm just saying anyway you have these people who are about the culture you know what i'm saying who respect the culture and what it consists of you know what i'm saying and you of all people, you know what I mean, given given with, with what rap and hip hop has given you, you should have enough respect for yourself and the culture, you know what I'm saying, to respond. So that way, okay, you're not just known for the guy who retired Mac Lethal. I mean, that's it. That's all you are. I mean, when it comes to the battle rap scene, you're in the battle rap scene, you're only known as the guy who retired Mac Lethal, which uh, let's let, let's face it. It wasn't that hard of a feat to do because Lethal pretty much, you know, committed career suicide when he went up against you. I'll give you that. But see, you have no balls. You have no lyrical game because if you did, it shouldn't have been a problem with you going up against Church of all people. You know what I'm saying? It shouldn't have been a problem for you um, when you called out Eminem and you went at Eminem. You know what I'm saying? And you, you, and you should have kept on it. You know what I'm saying? But no, but see, one thing that Tom does that I notice that some lefties do, you know what I mean? When you call them out on their shit, he backpedals. He backpedals. Remember when he called out Eminem for writing songs about murdering his girlfriend or his wife at the time or um, and then making songs about murdering his mom and stuff like that, right? Right? We were, we were all on Tom's side. We were in support because... Yeah, because look where Eminem is now. Look at the kind of music he's making now and look at the shit he's talking now and everything. But then what happened, Tom? Even though you had the uh, support of your following to be on your side and agree with you on that, you know what I'm saying? What did you do? You bought Eminem's beat and then you made a tribute freaking ass-kissing song to Eminem because you got scared. You got scared that dude was going to look at your shit and be like, oh, really? Now we got a problem? Okay, well, let me... um. Let me go in on this dude. Hmm. Hmm. Again, no balls on old McDonald. The silence for all the things about.
about to achieve I'm on a three kill streak I call in UAVs This ain't no Call of Duty bitch You lacking PS3 I always end up on he said, this ain't no Call of Duty, bitch. You like it, that PS3. Bro, let's go. Top the rain, no bottom for me. Somebody go get a body bag. I'm burying Tommy Sass. You bring a Tommy gun. I bring an RPG. Blow your ass into pieces. Send my condolences out. No questions asked. Police are knocking at the door. They help me go frame your ass. Talk about a friend. There ain't no box for you to put me in. I'm shooting down the motherfuckers. Constantly to block me in. So motherfucker, back it up. I'm shooting down the hog. Oh, shit. I didn't know uh, Just Trey's image was, was moving for a second. I thought I was tripping. <laughs> but, yo. He going all in, man. He talking about, yo, police going to come in and ask me to help frame you and all this and that, bro. And you ain't putting me in no box. If anyone's getting put in a box, it's going to be your ass. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, like my man, M Mr. Jones once said, that's your ass, Mr. Postman. Yo, R.P. to John Witherspoon. Let's go. Everybody get to running. Underdogs are barking in. They show this hold up so much. They won't budge. I never fall or fold up. Even if my collar bone. I crumble, I will never slip a thumb Cause I'm a soldier They show this hold up so much, they won't budge I never fall or fold up I'm a soldier Even if my collarbone's crushed, I crumble I will never slip a thumb Cause I'm a soldier When is your ass gonna answer back, bro? Like I said on the last one, I can keep going and going and going <laughs> And one more thing What artist do you know that is back in church up with these diss tracks? Because if he's going to war, I'm a soldier standing right next to him, motherfucker. Well, damn. And yo, respect to Jess Trey for this one. I gotta say, this is probably one of his better ones. Other than that first one he put out. I feel like so far the second one he put out is the, the, the weakest one. I'm not saying it, it's bad or anything. It's not bad. I'm just saying between the three that I've heard from the first to the second now to the third Hog Feast, I'd have to say the first and third Hog Feast are the best ones in my opinion. And uh, the second one is the lowest. Um, if, I, if I were to rank them, uh, I would say maybe the first one this one and then number two and then we still got number four to check out so make sure y'all stay in tune for that i will have those up again my bad for taking forever and a day to get these done but like i said man given with everything going on like i said with, with me following the whole diss track season you know what i'm saying trying to keep up to date with everything uh and then of course me doing things for the gaming channel and then getting getting ready for this album that's about to drop again it's dropping in june and everything you know your boy is busy and then, yeah, in case y'all wondering, yeah, I did accidentally cut myself. Uh, it, it was, I thought it was kind of bad at first, but uh, it's actually not. It's actually, a, it's not as bad as it looks. We'll put it that way. You know what I'm saying? Merely a flesh wound. Merely a flesh wound. Your boy will be all right. You know what I'm saying? Probably going to take a month or so to heal, but I'll be all right. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Starting to get dizzy. No, nah, I'm kidding. I'm playing. All right. Anyway. Really like this one. If y'all did it too, y'all know to do with the link for the original video. Go show my man Just Trey uh, some love. You know what I'm saying? Let him know your boy JJV done sent you. I'm sure he would appreciate that. As would I. And y'all know the deal. Do all the YouTube thing things here for the channel, for your boy. Help support your boy. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. And again, thank you to everyone who helped get us over you know, 10K subs. That really means the world. Appreciate y'all so much, man. Much love. Much respect to all y'all. You know what I mean? I can't thank you guys enough, man. All right, y'all. Pretty much all I got to say. And uh, with all that being said, it is your boy, Jason JV. So y'all take care. Have a blessed one. I catch y'all next one. Peace. Jason JV on YouTube. Uh, what's up with you, Jason JV? What up, Jason? JV. I'm just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. Jason, you are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, G? My name's Jimmy Patrick. I'm going to have to do that to do it. I'm going to say what's up to me. Take your motherfucking head up. Uh, uh, I don't know why you said it. If you said it, you said it, you said it, you said it, you happy. I'm going to be too happy. I'm going to be expecting shit. It's like you curves all the time. So you ready to be on the swerve. So subscribe, tap the little bell, turn on the notifications, and if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it. Yeah.